These bags are so out of date, so out of fashion. Why do you own them? Aren't they done? Hi, my loves, welcome back. If you're thinking, Mel, are you sitting in your pajamas in a fluffy robe? The answer is absolutely yes. Today's video is going to be a super funny one. I'm gonna be telling you 10 bags that I personally own that a lot of people think are so out of style, just done. And honestly, I thought it'd be funny, you know what? It's not fashionable to film a video in like a fluffy robe. So I thought it kind of matched the whole theme. Plus I love this robe so much. This is the one that Miss S got for me for Mother's Day. And I've just come out the shower, hence the fluffy hair. But fluffy hair, don't care. Let's get right into the video. Have a good laugh. Let me know if you own any of these bags. And if you do, Honestly, I say, who cares if they're out of style? And a lot of these bags I've owned for years and years. This video idea came about actually because a couple of you had emailed me and you had said, Mel, should I buy this bag? It's kind of like out of fashion now. What do you think? So let me tell you what I think. And let's start off with the very first bag. Okay, first up is my beloved Givenchy Antigona. Now this bag has been around for ages, since like 2010. And definitely there was a stage that there were celebrities, there were bloggers that were carrying this bag a lot. Now you probably don't see this bag on social media much or carried much, but I still love mine. And you know what? Givenchy still makes this bag and they've done different iterations of it. So the one I own is in the size small, but it comes in a medium, small, mini, I think even like a little micro size now. And people think, Mel, I don't like the shape of it, this sort of trapezoid shape. It's too boxy, it's too structured. I just think it kind of looks a bit dated. And I still really love this bag. Yes, I haven't used it that much. I used to use it a lot more when I used to go in the office, but since we're working from home a lot more nowadays, I don't use it that much. But does that mean I wanna sell it? No. I love a structured bag, and I think this bag is still a very classic silhouette. I actually like that it's very minimal in terms of, you know, there's no logos plastered anywhere. It's a pretty low key bag. And I know that people have said if they own this bag, especially in the box leather, that it can scratch easily. Obviously mine is in the pebbled. So this is, this is actually held up so well. I still don't have a scratch on this because it is in a pebbled leather. So it's really durable. Now in terms of the zip, I've also heard when people have done reviews that it's really annoying because when you're wearing it on your shoulder and you are getting things in and out that the zip sort of can scratch you. It doesn't bother me. I don't feel like I'm getting, see, I don't feel like I'm getting scratched. Are there cons to this bag? Absolutely. Givenchy's fixed some of them. Like when I got mine, I think in 2004 or 2005, this strap is not adjustable or removable, but nowadays the recent ones are. So do you guys own this bag? Do you like it? I still love mine. I still think it is a great work bag. Has it lost its luster? Not to me at all. So next up is a bag you guys are all going to know and recognize. And this video would not be complete without this bag. And I'm talking about the Gucci Marmont. Okay, I get it. I know every man and his dog owned this bag at one stage. I actually got mine. Mine is in the mini size and it's in this gorgeous sort of dark purple velvet. I bought mine when it first launched. I think in the middle of 2016. And I think it was, it hit its peak popularity definitely in 2017, maybe even early 2018. And you saw it everywhere on Instagram, I get it. Even I got a little bit sick of seeing it. And even for me, I didn't wear mine for a little bit, but I haven't sold mine. I know that it was oversaturated. It was like the Gucci Marmont belt. It was the whole Marmont line. It came in bags. I mean, this bag came in multiple sizes, the belts, the shoes. Everyone is like, oh my gosh, everyone owns a Gucci Marmont. I'm so over it. So I get it. It's a bit loud. The logo is, you could, some people might think is a bit obnoxious, but I still love mine. I'm actually so glad I got the velvet. But you know what? The actual silhouette is a classic shape. It is like a flap style bag. I don't think it is out of date. 
Is it as popular as it used to be? No, okay? But if you guys still love this shape, it's actually a great time to buy it now in the pre-loved market because look, they haven't held their value. And that's okay for me. As I said, I don't just buy bags saying, oh, can I sell it later on? That's not how I buy it. I'm just a firm believer in you just buy what you love. It doesn't matter about other people's opinions. As long as you rock it and you're confident, I think that that's all that matters. I did get asked, do you still have your Gucci mom on? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And I still love it. And I have no plans to sell it, even though it is so popular and people are so over it. The next bag that is out of style in my collection, according to some people, some people may not think so, but it has not been trending because you don't see this very much nowadays. Well, at least I don't anyway, is the Valentino classic Rockstar line. Now, Rockstars are so quintessential Valentino, as you know, even the Rockstar shoes, which people say are out of style as well. And they have a whole line of Rockstars in terms of their bag line, whether it's this top handle, whether it's totes, whether it's a camera bag, people just think, oh, it kind of looks a bit dated now. I guess maybe because Valentino have come out with the Roman studs, which are the biggest studs. And definitely that was great for Valentino to do because it was a modern take on their classic stud line. I love this bag. Did I get it on sale? Yes. Was there a time you could get Valentino on sale? Yes, and I'm glad I got this on sale. But if you guys still love the look of a studded bag, which I do, I don't think you can go wrong with that. I mean, Valentino still sells this line, this bag, and if they're still selling it, obviously it is a classic for them. Likewise, I still own multiple colors of my Valentino stud shoes and I will still continue to wear them. Do you think this bag looks dated? I actually like the Valentino stud range, some more than others, but I love my denim version. So if you see versions going on sale and you still love this style, I say go for it. Okay, the fourth bag that I own, which people have been selling a lot, but I still love, I actually bought one probably a year, oh, was it even a year ago? I'm losing track of time, but I still love it and I still think it's classic, is the Chanel Jumbo. I get it guys, mini bags have been in for the last few years, everyone loves their mini bags. And I love mini bags too, but you know what? I like options and I like having a bigger bag. I remember when I bought my first Chanel Jumbo back in 2011, Jumbos is what everyone wanted. The thing is that fashion is cyclical and because it is a classic flap, I don't think the Chanel Jumbo really ever goes out of style, but is it the most popular size now? No, not at all. Also because of the price point. But back then, no one really wanted minis. They wanted the Jumbo. So I think there will come a day where this maybe even the most popular size again. The criticisms of this bag is it's too boxy, it's too big. It's too heavy, I get it. It is a heavier bag than obviously the minis or the medium, but I don't find it a heavy bag personally for me. I think it's so classic. And you know, when people say, oh my gosh, just too big. I actually don't think it, I mean, of course it fits all your essentials and more, but it's not that big of a bag in my opinion anyway. And you know what? If you've always loved the Chanel Jumbo, Again, now's a great time to buy it because mini bags are still very, very popular, even though there is a total definite trend going back to bigger bags. Make use of this time and buy one on the pre-loved market if you're comfortable with that because you will see absolutely more maxis and jumbos being sold in the pre-loved market. But even better for us that like this size, right? Because you can save thousands compared to what the retail price is now. And let's face it, the retail price now, well, in Australia anyway, this is over 15,000 Australian dollars. I cannot even believe that, like more than a Kelly or Birkin. I still love the Chanel Jumbo. I own both the single flap and the double flap. If you're worried about weight, maybe look for one in the single flap. But look at it, I still think it's such a classic and even if no one else is carrying it, I'm still gonna be rocking mine. So the next bag I'm gonna show you is probably from a brand that doesn't get much love, especially the last few years. And I'm talking about Miu Miu. And the bag I wanna show you, which I own, is the Mew Lady bag. Yes, this bag never really took off, but I remember Mew Mew 
oh, maybe eight or 10 years ago was so popular, especially their Meta Lasse range. But Miu Miu is often referred to as like the little sister of Prada. Actually, fun little fact, Miu Miu is actually Mrs. Prada's nickname. But yeah, the whole Miu Miu line, it was sort of catered towards a more younger customer, a bit more fun, a bit more girly. And so this is a brand that's not exactly in at the moment. You don't really see, oh, I have a Miu Miu unboxing. But I remember getting this in Paris a few years ago and I still adore it. Is the brand a bit more bling? Is it a bit more feminine and girly? Yes, but you know what? My aesthetic is like that. I like feminine, I like bling. As you can see, there's all jewels. I, I like that. So to me, it's not about what brand is in, I'll only buy from that brand. For me, it's like, if I like the style, and even though no one else is buying it, that's okay. Sometimes it's good when not everyone owns the same bag. I mean, there's always classics that we love, but there are, you know, outliers in certain brands that are not as popular that I love. And this Mew Lady is an example of it. I think it's just so pretty. I love the different colors on the jewels. Look at that green. And it is just such a pretty feminine bag. Also makes a great alternative for an evening bag. Okay, so now let's move on to its big sister, Prada. And the Prada bag that I own that people think looks kind of old fashioned now, a bit dated, is my Prada promenade bag. And maybe not so much in this size because it's cute and the mini bag trend is still all the rage. But you know, the promenade comes in the bigger size and it's very similar to also the Prada Galleria bag, which both styles, people would think, oh, it's too basic, it's too structured, especially in the bigger size, it looks too serious, it looks like a work bag. And I know both these styles are Prada's very classic lines, but they are classic lines for a reason. Like the shape of the promenade kind of reminds me of kind of like the Alma BB. So it's not quite a dome, but it's a very simple silhouette. And Saffiano leather, I get it in a bigger style. It does kind of look dated, a bit boring. And Prada, especially nowadays, because they've come up with the whole bling, like all the crystals and much more funkier styles. I think that's great that they did and Prada probably needed that to reinvent themselves. But does that mean they're gonna throw out their classics that they're known for? No. So yes, some people may think, yes, it's an old lady bag. It looks like an old lady bag. But to me, it's just like a classic. Now let's talk about another Chanel bag. Yes, I have another Chanel bag on my list. And to be honest, when I first saw this bag, I didn't like it, but it was a bag that grew on me. I believe it came out in maybe 2017. And yeah, it was like a love-hate thing. But then I feel because it was such a big push from Chanel, like they did heaps of marketing on it, you know, people gradually warmed towards it and then even loved it. So I'm talking about the Gabrielle. And the one I have is in the size small. It did come in the medium as well. This was very different for Chanel because it was definitely edgier. I mean, the whole way they styled it, I, I mean, I even did a video on more than 10 ways you can style the Gabrielle. I'll link it above. But yeah, it was just, it's so funky because it's got three different colors, metals on the chains. You can wear it multiple ways. It was just very different from, you know, their classic flaps or some of their classic silhouettes. So yeah, they did come out in other versions of it. I know maybe the backpack might be a bit more popular these days, but have I seen anyone go and buy a Gabrielle recently or have I seen a Gabrielle just on Instagram, on luxury pages I follow recently? No, not really. So I guess definitely there's a trend downwards for this bag, especially since when they did release this bag, it was for a younger consumer. But then when they released the Chanel 19 bag in 2019, that obviously took over the Gabrielle. And then since then, Chanel has introduced so many other really cool it bags, especially everyone's loving the heart bag now. So really this bag has been deemed, oh, it's trending downwards, it's out of style. Why don't you sell it, Mel? I love the metallic. I love that this is hard and this is soft. For me, I like different shapes, different structures, just different things. Cause I, I want, you know, I'm a bag collector too and I like to add to my collection. So this to me is very different for Chanel. Yes, I love the classics, but I also still love different pieces like this. Next up is 
a bag from Celine. Now I know I don't feature Celine that much, but I feel like Celine in the last couple of years has been gaining much more popularity. But even when it wasn't so popular, I still really like some of their bags. And one of the bags even would be considered out of fashion nowadays. Though Celine still stocks it and Celine have done new kind of variations of it is the Celine 16 bag. Now, people have said this Celine 16 bag, it's nothing new. It might look like a try hard Kelly because it's got the top handle and a strap. It's just, it's a bit meh, but I love me a top handle. And Celine bags, they are actually really well made. This particular one is in the size small. It is in a pebbled leather. And I just think it is a very elegant looking bag. Is it very edgy? No, but it really suits my style. See, to me, it doesn't look like the Kelly. Yes, there is a clasp here, but there's a lot of bag silhouettes out there that has a top handle, a strap, a clochette. So it's not a try hard Kelly to me. But then again, maybe because I love the Kelly so much because you know, Melly's a Kelly girl, maybe that is why I like the silhouette. So I'm definitely looking at some more Celine bags. I remember buying a really old vintage Celine bag, which is probably totally considered out of style now. But then again, that's okay with me. So probably not many people own this bag, but I just think it is a very classy bag. Next up is a bag that you might be surprised that I'm featuring but I have seen that it's kind of lost popularity a little bit. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't, but I still own mine. I'm not gonna sell mine. I still love mine. And I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now there was a time this bag, you could not even buy. There was huge waiting list. It was probably at one stage, the most wanted bag from LV for ages. But you know what? It's definitely not as popular because when you see it available online, you know that, oh, I can add it to cart. That would not have happened like three years ago, four years ago. And to me, I know LV have come out with so many new bags and maybe this has lost its appeal a bit because yes, I have to admit, it's not like this bag doesn't have cons. A lot of the pochette Matisse's had glazing issues. I completely understand, but it is, you know, a very classic sort of satchel silhouette. I love that it's a little bit more, I don't know if I would say boyish, but it's not as feminine. It's a very casual everyday bag. It's so practical. I love how it's got the accordion style compartments. I love the S lock, which reminds me of the trunk. You know, it's actually based off, a, I can't remember the name of it, but a vintage model that used to be more of like a briefcase. Maybe this is one like the Gucci Marmont. Everyone's got the Pochette Matisse. I don't want it because it's oversaturated. It's too loud, too much logo. I don't like it, but I just think this is a classic bag that will never go out of style. And again, LV, I think this is the 10th year. They're celebrating the 10th year this year. They've done the Pochette Matisse. They've come out in different variations now, leathers, on prompt, mini sizes. So I don't see this going away anytime soon. So I think a lot of you guys may own this bag as well. And I don't see it going out of fashion. But yeah, I've seen a trend that people are kind of like selling theirs, but I'm totally keeping mine. And finally, the last bag that is out of style that I own is from YSL and it is the Kate tassel bag. So some of you might think, no, no, no way. And I'm like, well, I don't think it's out of style, but some people may think so because it is one of YSL's more classic bags and People don't like the tassel. They think the tassel, it's been there, done that. Remember when Gucci did the Soho with the tassel? You know, it's kind of like a bit out. I know this bag kind of hit its peak popularity maybe like five years ago. And, you know, I remember seeing this bag styled a lot with like Balmain blazers and stuff, which Balmain blazers are out as well, but I still own Balmain blazers. But yeah, and the criticisms are maybe it's too structured, it looks too eveningy. But even though it looks too eveningy, I don't just wear this in the evening. Why can't you wear this with jeans crossbody? You absolutely can. And I like structured bags, so to me, it's not out of style. To me, I like the croc embossed print. I think YSL do a very good job of it. But again, it is a more simple bag. If you want something a lot more funkier, then yeah, maybe you might think this is out of style. But again, the Kate is a classic for YSL, 
a bit boring for others, but not boring for me. So that is it guys from me. 10 designer luxury bags that I own that are out of style or not in fashion anymore. But honestly, I don't care. I would love to know out of the 10 styles that I featured, do you own any? Comment below. Do you agree with me? Are they out of style or are they not? It's okay. It's good that we all have different opinions. It's actually good that we all like different things because as I always say, like that's what makes fashion fun. And don't worry too much. I know sometimes, and I know, you know, luxury YouTubers do this as well. Like, don't buy this. I mean, I've done these videos. So don't buy this, buy that, or these bags are out of style, or these bags are hot. Just buy what you love. Buy like what makes you feel happy, like a kid in a candy store. That's how a bag should make you feel. As long as you love it, even though the flavor might not suit someone else, that is completely fine. And I totally get it. Sometimes the opinions of others can sway you a bit, but if it suits your lifestyle, if it suits your needs, and you can foresee yourself wearing it for years to come, it doesn't matter if it's on trend or in fashion or even with these bags, in my case, out of style. I will still be rocking them confidently and proudly because I like them. So if you enjoyed this very casual Mel in her fluffy robe with fluffy hair and no makeup, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you all just had a good laugh. As always, this is just my opinions, but it's good that we all have different opinions, right? So have a wonderful day or night, guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.